Hey everybody, this is lesson number one for the guitar. Um, first we stretch, we do the left hand out, we hold 30 seconds, we go down, we hold 30 seconds. Then we do the other hand, we hold, and then we go down. Try to keep your arm locked, okay? Then we hold the pick with our right hand, or left hand if you're a lefty. The first two fingers, we don't want any kind of other type of holding we want, all right? then what happens is in general when you're picking single notes you want the pick to be perpendicular to the string this is called the bridge and what I do is I have my students anchor the heel of the hand here against the corner here okay so in the first exercise it says zero 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 those are open strings starting with the number six it also has three different picking styles down up an alternate picking down up. So we're gonna go like this. I'll count off one, two, three, four. We go down, 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 down. Then repeat the first string. Then we're gonna do upstrokes. One, two, the upstrokes are free. We're not gonna rest. What we were just playing are called rest strokes. You rest onto the next string, all right? The, the upstrokes are gonna be free strokes. They're free. Here we go, one, two, free strokes go. So it's up, 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 up. This just gives you some general technique and control over the guitar. Also holding the guitar, you know, it's like the right right arm or the picking arm if you're lefty. It's, it's just holding the guitar against your body. Sometimes I'll angle it up for these videos or even just for playing. Um, classical players sit like this, you know, um, with the, on their left leg. I, I usually put it on my right leg. Okay, now we're gonna go down up. So you anchor the hand, one, to it's a rest stroke free stroke down up 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 and now you have completed the whole first part of the page now the second page i mean the same page but the second part in the page it says number two it says warm-up scale in the middle. So this is my famous warm-up scale that is the natural notes, meaning A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, twice in the first position. When you're playing in a position, you have your guitar hands are number one, two, three, four, the fingers, okay? The thumb is nothing, it's behind. It's not nothing, but we, we don't call it a number. When you're in first position, your first finger takes care of the first fret. Second fret, third, fourth, okay? So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna play A, B, C. It says on this thing, it says open two, three. So open two, three is gonna be the number five string. A, B with your second finger, C with the ring finger, okay? And then it says open two, three on the next string. D, E, F. Then it says open two. G, A. Then it says open one, three. B, C, D. And this is open one three E F G back down F E D C B A G F E D C B A and then below that G F E okay and what I want you to do is play rest strokes down strokes slow legato that was kind of fast because i'm just going through this so that you have a um a reference everybody who's taking lessons um you want to play tiger monkey what is that it's like when you're in a martial arts battle and you're like praying mantis style and then the other guy is like dragon style and then somebody's like slow as a turtle style but then you're like tiger monkey all right so tiger monkey would be like a tiger claw type of approach okay we're going to be um curling the um fingers to play on your fingertips so that you're not playing on the flats of your fingers on the fretboard, okay? So if I say tiger monkey your finger, it means just curl the tips of your fingers, okay. Near fret line, so watch the sound of this. 
Okay, that sounds weak. That's near the fret line. This is in the back of the fret, towards the headstock of the guitar, the tuning pegs. This is the sound hole. This is the bridge, all right? So you wanna play near the frets on your fingertips, Tiger Monkey style. Then we actually extend the warm-up scale. That's usually in lesson two, three, four, five. Okay, some of you get it right away and or you've been playing guitar for years and I give it to you. I'm gonna give it to you right now. Yeah, on this sheet it says extended five, seven, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen on the number one string. So as you go up, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C is five, seven, eight, D, E, F. I like to introduce vibrato here too, because vibrato is an expression device to make the notes sing and stand out. You can do fast vibrato, you could do slow. I'm thinking triplets, one, two, or eighth notes. That'll be triplets. Wah, 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 wah. That'll be like 16 notes, all right? So this, to get vibrato, you need to connect to the instrument. And in the beginning, you need to learn how to play A, B, C, with the proper fingerings, okay? The one, three, four. And again, one, three, four. So when you're coming up the string, ready, go. A, B, C, D, E, F, E, D, C, B, A, G, F, E, and you go back, okay? Cool, so that's the whole first page there. There's also some stuff, a picture of the left hand. There's also a little, under the left hand, there's a little warm up. It says open one, two, three, four. Back down. You could do this on any string. It's just a general hand warm up. Now when you're playing on the um, the first string, thumb is sometimes up. In general, you want your hand to be elongated and not cramped in general, okay? Um, if you play this exercise on the sixth string, try playing near the frets. Of course, start slow. Just try to get a note out, a nice note, long, legato. Legato means long, staccato is short. Okay, so you can pick any string. Here's the number four. Just try to play it in tempo. Exercise your fingers, all right? There's also some stuff on the first page with the right hand picking, finger picking technique, but that's a whole other lesson, all right? Now what happens is I'm gonna move, I'm gonna flip the page, and we go to our first chords, E minor and A minor, okay? So every beginner should be able to do all the things I just did in the first lesson except for the extended, um, or even backwards is hard, but eventually you get it. Now E minor, you're gonna take the second, third fingers. Also you'll notice that the chords, instead of tablature going horizontal, you're gonna read the chords up. Okay, so like this page, it's up and down, okay? And with E minor, second fret, the B, and second fret, the E, with the middle two fingers, I like to say the I love you in sign language. Okay, here we go, E minor. I just play it four times. Bring those fingers towards the floor, insert the first finger, A minor. And go back and forth, E minor. Use a pick, A minor. Try to, when you get A minor, try to strum from the number five string. Now I'm just strumming up here just to show you, but normally people play a lot of times near the sound hole. You could also arpeggiate those chords. Then the next set of chords, you got C, 
you move these fingers down to get F over A with just the inside strings. If you want a pure F chord, you bar the first finger. Okay? I know it's hard to do this little bar, so what I'll do is I'll explain how to play the one, two. You flatten your finger like this, cross the first fret, you add the second finger like this, then you add the third finger like this. Okay? So that's the F chord, and you play the A in the bass, but you don't play the E. That just sounds off. At least with the F chord, it's an F A C chord. So the A in the bass is called an inversion. So on the sheet it says F slash A. On my updated sheets, I give F major seven. You curl the first finger and let the open string out, and that's a really nice chord. It's in like Imagine by John Lennon, or like a bunch of stuff. Space Oddity, David Bowie. You could also try learning the F add nine chord with the A in the bass. That's the pinky here, and that you can move around. A lot of chord forms. Okay, then we move on. We only have one, two, three, four, five chords left that I'm gonna show you. So this, this chord series is C, F, G. Notice the G is gonna be played with the third finger in this particular learning style. The pinky here. The pinky is secondary to the these notes. You can actually get what's called a G6 chord like this. That's a G6. The pinky, how do you get it? Well, you want to relax your hand, okay? And eventually the pinky finger gets its own strength. The D chord, I call it the peace chord. You're gonna go first finger, second finger on the second fret, third finger here, D chord, okay? You're not gonna play the A necessarily, although you could later add that A, but definitely not the E, all right? There was a little trick, you could tune this E string down to a D, get a really big full sound, it's pretty cool. Um, I guess I'll show you, watch this. Get this sound. You can move that form up. I have a tuner here. I love these little Kala, Kala brand tuners. They're rechargeable, very cool. Um, I'm a Kala uh, instrument dealer here at Studio Noir. Okay, so um, three chords left. A major, we like to play A majors. You have to come, normally you wanna be near the fret line, but in this A major, you kinda of have to pull your finger back a little to fit them all in. This fingering's really good because you get the open string, you get add, add the pinky for A sus4. Take it away for A sus2. But A major is the prime chord you need to know. Okay, then it says E major. Second, third finger, first finger. Here's your E minor chord, and here's your E major. I'm almost done. And now D minor. Oh, back to the E major, this is fun. Check it out. You move it up a half step, you get a very Spanish sound. I call it the Taco Tuesday chord. What day is it? It's Taco Tuesday. You like tacos at all? I have one student here, I'm doing this for him. I'm doing it for everybody though. Okay, the next chord is D minor. First finger on the first fret, third finger on the third, second on the third string. And again, you want to, you can use the A in there sometimes, but it's a D, the root is a D. You can practice lifting the first finger. That's a D sus2 to the D minor. Put the pinky down, you get a D sus4. All right, on the page is also <clears throat> the B minor chord we wait for. We don't teach that right away. It is an E5, E5, and then there's a B7, a triangle shape with the pinky. You don't play the E string, it just sounds off. 
okay? Those are all the main, the main chords on this page. And that was a 15 minute uh, review of what we do every single class when we come here, it's a method. If you could do these basic things, then you can move on to a lot of other things. And sometimes if we're having difficulty with these things, we move on to other things anyway. Like we do the, the first riff sheet, uh, we do just to give you something musical to play. Peter Gunn. Okay, I know that this particular student has this on the front of his book. Then we also do um, we do a bad to the bone type of riff. And we also do, we're doing it on the E string, just so it's easy in the beginning. Um, we do smoke on the water. And later on, we teach the full versions of these things. All right, I'm not gonna do that in this video, but we do simplified versions in the beginning just to give people something fun to play. Um, also on that five, well, I already, that's it for today, all right? So um, studionoir.rocks, hope you enjoyed this video. Practice, peace.